When the rain hits my window, I take it <laughs> Me some, me and Timberland We sang a dangle We so tight that you get our styles tangled Sway your do si do like you loco Can we get pink at night like Coco? Can we get pink at night like Coco? Can we get pink at night? Can we get pink at night? By your sweet princess Zuka. Can we get pink at night like Coco? Like like Coco. Sweet, silky, smooth, soft, kind Princess Silka, sharing myself with you and my intelligence generously here on my Aitakalacho and also in my everyday life. Now that you listened to my previous video about holistic medicine, about holistic medicine, about holistic medicine. I'd like to expand. Holistic medicine, it is said it actually came from Germany. Healing with natural essences. But how do you heal with essences? You have to find out where the problem is first. That is the very ancient way. But it's not. Because indigenous, the origin of the American continent, before, previous to the Spaniards coming over, those didn't have psychological issues or illnesses. Psychological illnesses came with Catholicism. Catholicism is the origin of all religion. Catholicism is the root of all religion. All other religion is just a derivation of it. Deriving. It is then when the human psyche got attacked. It is then when stuff went bonkers. Okay, tell me, what is the doctor which the zebra questions and asks for? When the zebra has a situation. Huh? Do you get my point? Our bodies are made to be a sanctuary of our mind and of our heart. We do have a core. Illness is not part of God's plan or program. There is an imbalance and dysfunction. That's how bodies get ill. It could be by intaking poison. But it is always by intaking poison. Intaking poison, yeah, GMO food or, you know, food poisoning, but also by intaking poison, psychological poison. When a bitch bitches you and you bitch back, that's intaking poison. That's why I don't take shit. Yeah, the bitches that want to poison me every day. The imbalance I receive by not acknowledging me. Imagine, that's an attack. Every time I go there, it's, it's war. It's their war though, it's not mine. That's imbalance and that's bitch and that's poison. For you, my people, for you two guys, the past enlightenment is just don't take the shit. And that doesn't mean flap her in the face. At least not physically. Don't contest with, you know, with her little methods. Because you should not take shit, because it hurts. So my critique and the main issue of my conversation in this I talk a lot video is holistic medicine versus, yeah, you used to call it in a way, but how can we call it modern medicine? Yeah, because eventually they turned the names around. They would tell you that going to a doctor and taking chemicals and pills, that is traditional. And the modern way is going holistic. 
alternative to that. And I say it's actually historically different. But let's just pinpoint a name to it so we understand. When you go to a hospital or you go to a doctor, what they want to do is give you some medicine or a surgical intervention of both. What they never do is what holistic medicine does. They never address where the problem my hands arose from to begin with. Because A, they have no interest in that. Because they don't think and they don't feel. They have a book, they consult, and you tell them the symptoms and they figure which might be the correct medicine to give you. And that is what the doctor dictaminates. Or oh, might be this, or might be that. And B, What? Should I say A again? Okay, so they're not educated to give it to you. Be, they don't believe in it. That's what it is. They don't believe in that there is a psychological parameter. Because, see, that would threaten their sustenance, their survival. Because if the illness is psychological, for starters, that will bring them out of business. Because then no one would go see their doctors anymore. Alas, where is my money, the doctor says. Get it? So they don't want you to be healthy. And people go to doctors and take medicine mainly because they're afraid to look and to engage with their own lifestyle. Their thoughts and how they enhance themselves with other people. They're capitalistic pigs, abusive bitches. Yeah, everyone around me who thinks they can abuse me. Look at me, look at me, or just what I tell you every day, almost every day, and hopefully I can stop saying it. I mean, the fact that I don't say it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. I just don't want to look at it, get it? I don't want to focus on it. Particularly, I don't want to talk about it because it's already passed. So... There is no more ignorance today because I brought it out. But of course, people choose to be ignorant and to ignore what I say because they have no interest in me. They use me, they take the checks and the money and the cars and whatnot. But they have no interest in me because they have no interest in themselves. And they do not like other people either. They cannot like other people because they don't like themselves. So the disruptor is there of love because they don't look at me. Jesus Christ, they don't look. They don't want to engage, get it? They may say a few phrases, but that doesn't mean engaging. They might bark around, but that is not engaging. They follow a script like capitalistic pig medicine, pop a pill and shut up. But they don't look inside. So, our bodies are not made to be unhealthy. And when you address your psyche, your body will stay healthy. You're not born ill, your body will stay healthy. Do you get me? So, you have a tremendous power to direct your life. And which you address the stuff which makes you feel unbalanced and refocus. Avoid the people who make you feel that way. Never contest and focus on yourself and do whatever it is you can to be independent from other people. Get it? I address every single shit around me because I breathe in the bad vibration in the air, like the polluted shit water. They are don't colinda con la mierda, they don't edging on, on the shit. They are in, in the shit, they are the shit. I am the shit? Okay. I look at it and it hurts and pains me tremendously in very many senses. I read it through. I don't go against it because there's nothing to go against with. Stupid is stupid. Can't help it.
Drop top, pawn shop, will I sell it? Hell nah. Four wheels, ten toes, stress low, relax, eight tracks in the council. Jeez, drive round up an endo, please keep that on the down low. Well, I got no fancy features, fuzzy dice, couple speakers, break, break. radio, no receiver, gas light on, but I don't believe it. Road trips in a cappuccino, spill the coke, bag of Cheetos, engine gon' blow like a pack of C4, blown out smoke to the boy's steamboat. Big dreams, never sleep though, bag gon' hop like an El Camino, modified, my bitch illegal, parts come cheap down to Puerto Rico. Drop top beater, quarters in the meter, cranking up the heater, cause one. the AC doesn't work. Damn. Drop top beater, car could call me Peter, ask the big friend, sorry, uh -huh. love, I'm a two seater. Uh -huh. Drop top beater, <laughs> drop top beater, <laughs> okay. drop beater, you try to come drop with? top Cookie cat, spin the block, will I stop? Hell nah. I got the lab, it's just special about it. I bought it, used my 100,000. Overheat on summer evening, she wanna title it, can't be salvaged. Seven deep, shit super crowded, go A to B, I don't do rerouting.